that has to be some of the best baking hardware at this end of the market, especially in this displacement category, even though it is still running organic brake pads. But what are organic brake pads and are they a compromise? What we have on our bikes or even our cars are friction brakes that utilize the friction between two surfaces to provide a stopping power. How much stopping power they provide, how consistently they provide it and how long they last depends a lot on the kind of material they use. And this is where the difference between organic and centered brake pads stem from. Organic brake pads are often made from glass, types of rubber and synthetic fibers like Kevlar, all of which are bound by a resin which hardens when cured. These brake pads are good for low to medium stress usage like city commutes or decent highway speeds. The biggest advantage though is that they are cheap. So where's the problem? The problem with organic brake pads is consistency. They are not great in wet conditions and they suffer from brake fade and get glazed under high temperature or high stress situations like on track or even at high speeds. Centered brake pads on the other hand are able to do well in such scenarios because they are able to provide a much more consistent level of friction across temperatures and across their lifespan. Why are they able to do so? simply because they are made from metallic particles that have higher thermal conductivity and better hardness like copper, bronze or even steel. They do not soften or decompose under elevated temperatures unlike organic brake pads. They do have some caveats though like more rotor wear, more noise and higher expense. But both of them are built for a purpose and they serve it really well.